In this video, I play Terraria, but here's the twist. Every time I damage an enemy, I gain experience that goes towards leveling my yo-yos. With each level, increases the damage, critical strike chance, size, and best of all, the number of yo-yos I'm able to throw out. Things are going to get crazy, so stay tuned to witness it. Alright, to get my first yo-yo is nice and simple. All I need to gather are some wood and cobwebs to craft the wooden yo-yo. So let's begin by chopping down some trees. Okay, that should be more than enough wood. Let's go find some cobwebs. Well, I found enough amethyst to make a hook. I got 18. Okay, there's a lot of cobweb over there. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, I got 30. And I need 20 cobweb. Yep, we're good. So let's make a workbench. And then craft the wooden yo-yo. There we go. I can start killing monsters now, but it's very important that I make myself a yo-yo string to increase the range of my yo-yo, just so I'm not too close to enemies when I'm attacking. So I'll have to craft the loom, so I do need to find some iron to make the sawmill first. And luckily, I did find a lot inside chests. So let's make the anvil and then some chains. Okay, so I just need to collect 30 cobwebs. I have 10, so 20 more. Okay, I think that's enough. Yep, got 40. Let's put down the loom. And then I can make the white string. Much further now. So the next step is to craft a better yo-yo, which is the Amazon. Because the wooden yo-yo just isn't going to cut it. To craft the Amazon yo-yo, I do need 8 rich mahogany wood, 12 stingers, 1 vine, and 9 jungle spores. There we go, got the vine. Got enough rich mahogany. Oh yeah, let's also keep track of the wooden yo-yo's damage. So it has 9 melee damage and 4% critical strike chance. But let's see what changes after level 1. Okay, let's check it out now. Oh, so it gained 2 melee damage and 1% critical strike chance. Oh! It has a chance to throw out two yo-yos at the same time now. It's very inconsistent, but the more we level it, the more frequent it will become. Oh my god. The Ancient Cobalt Helmet. Five defense, I'll take that. Ooh, found the suspicious looking eye, so I can fight the Eye of Cthulhu whenever I'm ready. Found the Band of Regeneration. Okay, just need one more stinger. There we go. Now all that's left is to collect the remaining jungle spores. And that's enough jungle spores. Let's go back home and craft the Amazon yo-yo. Let's first make the amethyst hook. Then a platinum pickaxe. Might as well make the platinum chainmail as well. Tungsten greaves. And finally... The Amazon Yo-Yo. And it has 18 base melee damage with 8% critical strike chance. Let's also compare the range of these two Yo-Yos. So first up, the wooden Yo-Yo. Reaches all the way to the end of that platform. And with the Amazon. Oh yeah, that's way further. And let's just make a few NPC houses. There we go. Now the next step is to max out my health, so I'll be heading back into the jungle to try to find as many life crystals as possible. And then it'll be time to get my hands on the next yo-yo, which is the Hive 5. That's dropped from the Queen Bee. Ooh, found Cloud in a bottle. And there is the last life crystal for max health. I'm gonna try to see if I can find Hermes Boots before I leave though. Ooh, got Warding Feral Claws. Although I don't think that's going to affect yo-yos. I will wear it though for the extra defense. Ooh, okay, there's the Hermes boots. And there's gravitation potions as well. That means I can get some pretty good accessories later on. I also found a bunch of sapphire. Oh yeah, that's plenty. That means I can replace my amethyst hook with the sapphire hook, which is a lot better. Okay, I did say I would go fight the queen bee after I got max health. But it is nighttime, so I don't want to waste this opportunity to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. 
Because I just think that once I get the Shield of Cthulhu, it would be a much easier fight against the bee. So without further ado, let's begin. Oh, let's also keep track. So it's at level 1 with 20 melee damage and 5% critical strike chance. Oh my god, no way. Oh, it's because it was raining. I couldn't really tell that it was nearing daytime. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess what I'm going to do now is probably take on the King Slime. Just because it's a great source of experience. Also, there is the possibility of getting the King Slime mount, which would also help with mobility. Okay, Slime Crown made. Here we go. Almost done here. Couple more hits. There we go. And then let's just clear out the rest of the blue slime. So I'm trying to get as much experience as possible. Okay, let's check out our level. So from level 1 all the way to level 2. Not bad. And inside the treasure bag, what we got? Oh, okay. No King Slime Mount this time, but that's fine. Oh, the Traveling Merchant has arrived. What are you selling? There we go. DPS meter. I was looking just for that. What I'm going to do now is go to the Corruption and fight the Eater of Worlds. So I can make myself the full set of Shadow Armor. And that's just going to help with survivability against the Queen Bee. Because I know for a fact that dodging the Queen Bee is kind of difficult. Last Shadow Orb. Let's get this thing started. Okay, taking a lot of damage already. That's not good. But this boss does have 15,000 health, which is going to give me a lot of experience. Okay, let's heal up now. It's almost at 50% health. I just gotta try to stay away from the mouth, because that deals the most damage. Oh god. Okay, I'm kind of low now. Oh my god, heal up, heal up. Right now. Heal! No! Okay, please tell me I got enough materials though. At least for the Nightmare Pickaxe. Okay, is this enough? Yes, it is. So, now I have two options here. Either I can go straight to hell and mine some hellstone with the Nightmare Pickaxe, or I take it on again. I don't like to leave things unfinished, so I will be taking on the Eater of Worlds once again. But before that, I'm going to drink a Gravitation Potion to try to find some Sky Islands for some better accessories. Okay, here's the first Sky Island. Shiny Red Balloon. Perfect. Oh, and also my Amazon. Ooh, it's a level 4. So I gained two levels then. And the last one. Lucky Horseshoe. Round two, here we go. I'll try to not split it as much this time. Because I think that's the reason why I died. I'll be aiming for the head specifically. Yeah, this is going a lot better. Just gotta take it nice and slow. 2,000 more health. And it does look like I can throw out three yo-yos now, which is really good. Almost done. There we go. Yeah, I should have done that from the start. Just focus on the head first. So from level 4 all the way to level 6. 33 melee damage and 17% critical strike chance. And now I can craft the shadow armor. So from 18 defense all the way to 23. Ooh, and our movement speed is so fast now. And it is nighttime again, so we're gonna summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Second phase already. Almost done here. Come on. Alright, and now we have the Shield of Cthulhu. 
Let's get back onto the original task of fighting the queen bee now. Okay, found the beehive. This is a pretty big hive, so I shouldn't have any problems fighting the boss. Alright, the arena is all done. Let's begin. Okay, this is pretty easy. Oh, I just love it when it just stays still like that. 200 more health. Okay, well, it didn't dash as much as I thought it would. So to make the hive five, all I need are just 14 bee wax. Will there be enough in this treasure bag? Yes, there is, 17. Oh my god, this thing has 26 melee damage and 23% critical strike chance. Also, the best thing about this yo-yo is that it can summon homing bees. Alright, let's craft it. And we got unpleasant on it, so that's 5% damage and 15% knockback. Oh no, that's 4%, never mind. That was 5. Is it the same range though as the Amazon? So that one reaches up to the campfire. Oh yeah, it's definitely longer. But oh my god, look at the size of the Amazon now. It's getting bigger, for sure. And this is at level 7, I believe? Yeah. The next boss that I'll be taking on is Skeletron. But it is daytime right now, though, so I do have some time to build the arena. So let's head over to the dungeon. I should also probably level up the high 5 with another Eater of Worlds. Because I think there are some more shadow orbs to break. There's two over there. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Okay, that's finished. Not bad, not bad. Level three. There we go. Arena is complete. Let's talk to the old man to summon the boss. Three, two, one. One hand is down. Okay, that's both. Just the easy part now. All finished. So all I'm looking for in the dungeon is of course the Cobalt Shield. And the Shadow Key is optional, but if I do find it, then I can always get my hand on some Life Force Potions. First gold chest, got the shadow key, and there is the cobalt shield. Oh, it has warding on it too. Beautiful. Let's get out of here now. And to start mining down to hell. Finally made it to hell. So let's start mining some hellstone. Ooh, magma stone. That's going to allow my yo-yos to inflict fire damage. That should be more than enough hellstone now. I got 327. Let's first make the molten pickaxe. And then the full molten armor sets. Because that's going to increase our melee damage. So there's a 6 defense increase. After equipping the molten armor. And for our high 5, it's at 35. And then after equipping that. 40 melee damage. Okay, not bad. 5 melee damage increase. Before I take on the Wall of Flesh though, I will be trying to find the Goblin Tinkerer. Because I do want to combine all of my accessories together. So I'm going to go to the right side of the world and try to farm some Goblin Scouts for their tattered cloths to make the Goblin Battle Standard. Is that enough? Just need one more. Here's the last one. Alright. Time for the Goblin Army. And I think this event is going to gain us a couple of levels to our high five. So it's starting at level six. We'll see at the very end. Goblin Army has been defeated. Okay, let's check it out. Eh, gaining one level isn't bad at all. But now I can search for the Goblin Tinkerer underground. Oh, I see the Goblin Tinkerer. Let's buy the Rocket Boots and the workshop. Let's also try to reforge the high five into godly. Oh, there we go. 
Perfect. 49 melee damage. Now let's make the cloud in a balloon. Turn that into the blue horseshoe balloon. And then the specter boots. If I find the anklet of the wind, then I can make lightning boots later on. It's finally time to take on the wall of flesh. Made it to the end of the world. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And let's just clear out all of the hungries first. Well, most of them at least. Because there are a lot of them. Okay, now I can attack the eye. And we're dealing about 500 damage per second. That's pretty good. Oh my god, hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. One more hit. Ugh. Nice. That was a bit of a close call, I won't lie. Alright, I'm in hard mode now. Let's open up our treasure bag. Unfortunately, no warrior's emblem, but that's okay. Let's go break some demon altars with our pwn hammer. So we got palladium, or calcum, and adamantite. Oh, wait, my high five is huge. What? Wait, what level is this thing? 11? Wait, when did it get so high? It's kind of sad though, because it is going to get replaced very soon. I think that's enough palladium. 69. Now on to Orcalcum. Okay, I'm good on Orcalcum. Now lastly, the Adamantite. Alright, that should be enough Adamantite. 310. Let's now make the full Adamantite armor sets. And this is going to give a huge boost to my defense. So from 32 all the way to 57. And my high 5 now has 62 melee damage. Compared to... 60, but I do have 40% critical strike chance when equipping the adamantite armor compared to 33. Now that I have some hard mode armor, it's time to get my hands on a hard mode yo-yo. And there are a couple of options. I can either get the hellfire yo-yo in hell, or I can just craft the chick yo-yo. But I think I'm leaning towards the chick yo-yo because it's very simple to make. All I need are just 10 souls of light and 15 crystal shards along with a wooden yo-yo. But the hellfire is more of luck. So I really don't know how long it'll take to get that one. So I'll be going with the guaranteed route. Got enough crystal shards, just need 5 more souls of light. Okay, that's everything I need. Let's head back home. And let's craft the chick yo-yo. 49 melee damage. And it's definitely a lot further than the Hive 5. Let's reforge this first, and then I'm going to go up to a Sky Island to farm for some Souls of Flight to make wings. Oh, okay, first try. I'll take that. Okay, that's enough Souls of Flight. And that's enough Feathers. That's everything I need now to make Angel Wings. There we go. So before I take on the mechanical bosses, there's two very essential accessories for me to get. The counterweight and the yo-yo glove that'll add another yo-yo that can be thrown out. These two accessories can only be bought from the skeleton merchant underground, so let's try to find him. Oh, there he is! Okay, let's purchase the yo-yo glove and the green counterweight. Now let's combine all three accessories together. The yo-yo glove, counterweight, and white string to make the yo-yo bag. And after attacking an enemy, here's what my attack looks like. Alright, I'm ready to take on the mechanical bosses now. So the first one that I'll be fighting are the twins. Here we go. And of course, I'll be focusing on the spasmatasm first. Oh, wait, I've... Was that three counterweights? Oh, it is! Wait, no way. 
So any additional yo-yos that I can throw out, it adds another counterweight to it. Oh, this is going to be good. Phasmantasm is dead. One more to go. And there we go. Twins have been defeated. Next up, the Destroyer. About 1,400 damage per second. Pretty good. Oh, but I hit the middle right there. That's like 2,000. 2,000? 3,000? What? Oh my god. Wait, I forgot to check the level on this thing after the twins. How many am I throwing out? That was like four. 10,000 more health. There we go. Destroyer has been defeated. Okay, let's check the level on this thing. Oh, oh my god. Level 12? This thing almost has 100 melee damage. Okay, I don't think there's enough time to take on Skeletron Prime, so I'm gonna have to wait until the next night. It's finally nighttime once again. Skeletron Prime, here we go. And for this boss fight, I'll be taking out all of its arms first. For as much experience as possible. Prime laser is down. Prime saw is down. Two more to go. Prime cannon is down. One more left. Okay, just ahead now. There we go. All three mechanical bosses have been defeated. Let's first make the pickaxe axe. And then, do we have enough for the full hollowed armor? I think so. Let's see. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, now we have some invincibility. And for our yo-yo... Level 14? Oh, two more until 100 melee damage. But oh my god, look at the size of these things now. Let's head into the jungle now to get my hands on the next yo-yo, the Yellet. And for this yo-yo, the drop rate is 1 out of 200. So that's 0.5% of it dropping. So uh, I might be here for a while. I'll also be collecting some turtle shells too. So I can make turtle armor and then eventually turn that into beetle armor. Oh my god, just need one more. I thought these things were supposed to be kind of rare. Oh, there's the Pantera Ball. Looks like I'll be making the arena right here then. Okay, and I managed to mine 364 Chlorophyte Ore. So that should be enough to make the full turtle armor set. Oh, and there's the last turtle shell that I need. Okay, got three now. After I finish making the arena, then I'll go craft the turtle armor. Alright, the arena is finished. Our defense is going to go skyrocketing. So from 59... All the way to 74. I do lose out on the invulnerability, but I do prefer more defense, of course. Oh my god, there it is. Finally. So it has a base damage of 75, which is pretty high. And 20% critical strike chance. But after I reforge it to godly. 86. Wow. Wow. It's time to start leveling up this yo-yo now. I think I'm going to try to get this yo-yo to at least level 6 or 7 before I take on Plantera. Oh, I just got the Titan Glove. So I think I can make the Mechanical Glove. Oh no, I can use the Magma Stone to make the Fire Gauntlet. Alright, so let's make the Avenger Emblem. Then the power glove. Combine these two into the mechanical glove. And then with the magma stone, the fire gauntlets. 
Ooh, okay. Oh my god. 107 melee damage, and it's only at level 6. There we go. Now my yo-yos can deal fire damage as well. I think it should be at level 7 now. Yeah, there we go. It's now time to summon Plantera. 3, 2, 1. Okay, now first phase, always the easiest. Just gotta fly in circles. And that's going to allow us to dodge all of the petals. Dealing about 800 damage per second on a single target. Pretty good. Second phase, here we go. Gotta be careful of our distance now. Can't be getting too close. Oh, okay. We're taking big damage heal up. No, the turtle. No, 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 no. Focus up. We got it. Come on. Oh my god, that was so close. That turquoise almost screwed me over. Because it dealt 200 damage on me. Now that I have the temple key, let's take on Golem. Okay, this boss room is pretty big. And a one level platform should be enough. Let's begin. 3, 2, 1. Okay, head is down. I probably should have taken out the hands first, I won't lie. Because they might be a problem very soon. Okay, one's down at least. That's two. Okay, never mind, we're good. And Golem has been defeated. Okay, we got some beetle husk now. Is 23 enough though? I'll go find out right now. Let's first make the beetle helmet. And then the leggings. Oh yeah, we do have enough. Now the real question is, do I want the one with more defense or the one with more damage? Probably the one with more defense because the scale mail gives 6% increased melee speed, which doesn't affect yo-yos. So yeah, we'll make the beetle shell. Oh my god, 91 defense. And my yo-yo is at, oh, level 11. 128 melee damage. That's insane. It just became morning, which is actually perfect. Because now I can summon the Eclipse for the full duration. And try to get my hands on the next weapon, the Eye of Cthulhu. And the Eye of Cthulhu is pretty much the very last yo-yo before I take on Moon Lord. Please drop, please drop. Yes, there it is. First try. Oh my. 162? Okay, let's level this thing up with the Solar Eclipse event. I think I can get it to at least... Hmm, I'm gonna say level 10 by the end of this. Oh right, I can still reforge this too. Oh my god. Almost 200 damage. Ooh, Mothron wings. And it's armor too. Give me that. Okay, Solar Eclipse has finally ended. Was I right about the Eye of Cthulhu being at least level 10? Let's find out. Oh, that is well above level 10. Oh my god. Level 15? Holy, look at how many yo-yos we're throwing out. And this is huge too. It's almost the size of my character. Let's make our way to the dungeon now to take on the lunatic cultist. Wait, why are these two above... You know what? Never mind, let's just kill them. Here we go. 
okay. 1,500 damage per second. Let's make sure I hit the correct one. There we go. Half health already. Jesus, our crit strikes are dealing like 400 plus. And you are finished. Time for the Celestial Pillars now. Solar Pillar has been destroyed. And now my I Cthulhu is at level 20. Stardust Pillar is down. Vortex Pillar is done. One more to go. And I think my yo-yos are officially now bigger than me. Oh my god. Oh! 8,000 damage per second. But to be fair, that is only against worm-type monsters. Jesus, even the counterweights are huge. Oh my god, look at how many there are. And that is the last pillar down. Let's get ready for Moon Lord, guys. Here we go. Okay, almost 2,000 damage per second. No, no, it is. Get ready to teleport now. Oh, okay. Just time that. Let's try to target the eye first, or the forehead. Teleport. Okay, we got it that time. Here we go again. Teleport. Yeah, that tree is kind of annoying. I should have gotten rid of it. Okay, that's one hand down. Let's get rid of the other. There we go. That's all three. Now, I just got to focus on the core now. I should probably heal, though, just once. Okay. Yeah, things are going pretty smoothly. Lasers aren't reaching me. Almost done. There we go. Alright, there is only one yo-yo left to get. Which is, of course, the Terrarian. Will this treasure bag have it? Oh! There it is! Oh! Oh, 285 melee damage. Okay, I have to level this thing up. But first, let's go ahead and reforge this. Oh, Jesus. 305? So the quickest way to level up my yo-yo would probably be to fight worm-type monsters. So I crafted five destroyer summons. And hopefully, within those five, I can get the Terrarian to a pretty decent level. Oh my god! That was 30,000 damage per second. What level is it? Level 5 from just one. Okay, let's keep going. Jesus! Level 14. Oh, look at how many Terrarian projectiles are being thrown out. Well, I'm not going to end the video just yet. Let's test this bad boy out on Moonlord one more time. There we go. Okay, 5,000 damage per second. That's on a single target, by the way, so that's really good. It's one down. Forehead, eyes down. Okay, just the core. Holy, this is so fast.
and you're finished. Okay, I have enough materials now to craft the full solar flare armor. Oh, I'm very excited to see how strong my Terrarian will become. 371 melee damage all the way to... Oh, 417. Oh my god, look at this. What am I looking at? That's almost a thousand damage per crit. You know what? Let's actually do Moon Lord one more time. Here we go. Can I just stay still and tank everything? Let's find out. Okay, that hand's done. Quickly move over to this. Heal up. Okay. One more hand to go. Just the core, come on. I can do it. Holy. 8,000 damage per second. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so strong. I could just tank the entire hits of Moon Lord. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed watching. What an absolute crazy experience I had. I loved how I was able to grow the yo-yos to the size of my character, but what I really wished was possible was if the yo-yo string grew alongside the yo-yo, just so it looks a bit more normal. Oh, and if it was possible to upgrade the range on the yo-yo strings as well, oh my god, that would have been great. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching, don't forget to leave a like, comment if you have any mods or video ideas you want me to try out, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.